Hi, this is Jeannie Ortega with BreatheCast, and today for BC News, I have the lead actors. I'm so, I'm, I'm like so excited about this because one of them was a surprise, but I have, you are the director, the writer, and the lead actor of the new romantic drama Old Fashioned, and this is, I, I would say, the star of the film. <laughs> Elizabeth Roberts and Rick Swartwelder, thank you so much for being here on BreatheCast. But I have to ask you guys, first and foremost, I mean, you got a romantic drama, faith-based, and it's going up against a Hollywood giant, like Fifty Shades of Grey. Tell me about that. Well, you know, the, the first thing to, to point out is when we were making the film, when I was writing the screenplay, when we were making the film, we weren't thinking about Fifty Shades of Grey at all. Mm -hmm. That's something that we were just trying to tell a, a sweet little love story uh, that sort of takes a countercultural approach to yes. things uh, like ro love and romance, especially today. But when the film was done and we were looking at release windows and we saw that Fifty Shades of Grey was going to release on Valentine's Day weekend 2015 as a mainstream date night movie. We thought it was a unique opportunity yeah. to really just kind of to broaden the cultural discussion. We're not trying to judge or condemn or mm -hmm. slam, but we do think it's a conversation mm -hmm. worth having. Yeah, I think it's incredible that um, there is a counter to it because, you know, so many people are influenced by media and movies these days, and to have a faith-based movie like what you guys have done, it's just incredible. So thank you for that. Well, thank you very much. Um, and in the, in the film, there is the theme of chivalry is not dead. Right. And um, in this day and age, it's kind of unheard of when you're like, really, that still exists? So I want to ask you, Elizabeth, as a woman and, and uh, someone who I'm sure you prob you're gorgeous, so I'm oh, sure you man. deal with all types of things, um, how important is that theme? You know, I think it, it comes down to being honored and valued. You know, mm -hmm. I'm I'm not offended if someone opens a door for me. My husband personally, he takes he he treats me like a, like gold, and oh. and that's key. And I think really chivalry can come down to respect, mm -hmm. and I think we, we owe each other that. It's not just the man's responsibility. Yeah. yeah. So treat your treat others how you want to be treated. That golden rule, that to me is at the heart of chivalry. That's incredible. But it's nice to be wooed. I would, yeah. I would be lying if I, <laughs> I said that wasn't something that I enjoyed as well. Yeah, and I think that's what's so unique about the film because. We all have those universal truths where, you know, regardless of what society is doing, you want to feel loved and appreciated and respected. So, Absolutely. And that's definitely what we get from old fashioned. So, Rick, I want to ask you, in the film, your character, Clay, he has very high standards. Right. And um, I thought it was very interesting coming, first of all, from the man's side of things. Right. Because usually it's the women like, you better behave. Right. Like, you know, uh, I'm trying to do the right thing. Right. But it was your character, the mm -hmm. man's character. Um, can you tell us about that? And um, just, I, I'm sure there's tons of single young men out there that actually do want to do, do it the right way, you mm -hmm. know, despite what society tries to say. I know there are men out there that, that, that are like that. Do you right. have a kind of pointers or advice to kind of keep those standards the way well, you had them in the film? Well, I think it, uh, it's the real challenge is uh, culturally is I think there's still some residual even with I think even the broader culture now with women that you there's sort of like you respect a good girl or sort of that virtue is kind of honored still I mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. uh, and, and women but when it comes to men and that's why in the film it was a deliberate choice to have the person with the standards actually be a man mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. men are not that's not valued the same way in fact you can be questioned or challenged or your yeah. your your manhood comes into if you're not out there trying to bed lots of women well, well why aren't you and I think that the best advice I have isn't for the young men trying to do it because I think those young men are already trying to do it mm. the real advice is for the community because if we don't affirm those young men and young women who are fighting for virtue trying to live lives differently outside the box then it's harder and harder for them to do it because we all need encouragement yeah and I want to say that too um, what I, you know, I mean, it's incredible. Yes, it's true. We all need encouragement. And I saw that, you know, unfortunately in the movie, a lot of the people around you were like, what is wrong with you, man? Right, right, right. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, it is important to have that community. And um, another interesting thing about, and I kind of can probably open this up for whoever wants to answer it, but you, talk, you tell the story in the film of someone who's coming from a world that's different from where they are now. Right. Um, and there's kind of like a change mm -hmm. and you know my own personal life I've had a dramatic change when I came to know the Lord um, how how did that kind of come about in terms of wanting to put that dark past in it and then you know this change but also what I saw is that that 
created walls in your character. That was pretty intense. Well, literally, and I think, well, and I think there's both. I'll, I'll answer for Clay, and then I'd okay. love to hear you talk about Amber, on on this score. But for Clay. It, it definitely, he was someone that was one thing and became something else. And what I liked, what's in, in, interesting to me about the story is we don't really see, we only have hints of who he was before the movie starts, mm -hmm. right? When we meet him, we kind of think he's... Yeah, he's a mystery guy. Right, and you kind of... do? And you, guys deal? <laughs> yeah, and as, as the story continues, you realize he's not as simple as yeah. we, uh, we first thought he was. But the, for me, the, the really, the, the fun thing is to see someone who... Like you say, he's almost using, his own righteousness is almost working against him, mm -hmm. right? He's isolating himself from others. He's on the verge of isolating himself from God. Mm. And it's really about this person who is very damaged, dark past, understanding how fully loved he is by God mm -hmm. and embracing the forgiveness of God and learning how to forgive himself so he's ready to then have a healthy relationship with the most pretty little girl. Yes. Just beautiful, beautiful. Aww. So that, so that's kind of clay. And again, it's it, the key is that it's it's a romance, but it's really it's there are three love stories. I like yeah. to say in old fashioned. It's oh. horizontal between right clay and amber, yes. and then vertical between amber and God, and vertical between clay and God. And that's it's when all of those things are working together that they're really ready for the love story to explode. That's awesome. Right, and I think what's so fun about Amber is yes, she she does come across as she she is. I would say she comes across much stronger yes. in the beginning and we start to sort of see the layers of mm -hmm. her and, and that's so interesting, which I think is first and foremost a really good lesson when we're giving each other grace. Yeah. You don't know what happens behind closed doors, you don't know what True. someone's bringing to the, to the party. Mm -hmm. So grace is the first message, I think, mm -hmm. and, and I think she continuously ran away from her problems and what Clay challenged mm -hmm. her to do is to stay put. Um, and I, said, I think for her finding the grace of God and finding her spirituality was allowing her to say, I'm worthy of this moment, I'm worthy of love. Intrinsically, I can still mess up, but intrinsically I have value. It's and awesome. while it was messy with Clay, that's really the message he's trying to show her. He just doesn't know how, he doesn't have the right love language that, so she, she can yeah. hear it. Their love languages are Absolutely. not quite on point, but I think toward the end of the film, their love languages are very much in sync. Yeah, and I think what's awesome about your character is that it's a, it's a typical way that a female actually does sometimes react to things. They don't really want to, if they can't deal with it, then they run. So it's either one or the other really hard, you know, so I really appreciate that. We have to wrap it up, but I do have one more question because I think it's important. People are going to look at old fashion and think, oh, it's rigid and it's not like cool. Um, but you're talking about romance and then even intimacy. Can you tell us about that and, and that it's how important it is, um, but just in a different way? Because I'm sure there's people going to think that it's the, the direct opposite. So what Christians or faith-based films, you know, you can't have romance or intimacy. I did want to kind of talk about that a little bit because I'm sure people are looking at it like, oh, but you know, so, oh, give me that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Uh, you know, at the end of the, here's the deal. Uh, God created intimacy. Mm. Okay. He, <laughs> and, I wanted you to say. Yeah, and God's the coolest. Yeah. So I don't think it's any cooler than God. Now, what we can't do is uh, tantalize you, mm. and because I think there are paths you can go down that aren't healthy for you. And so yeah. we, it, it, I don't think there's anything remotely cool about objectifying women. Mm. I don't think there's anything rem remotely cool Preach. about hurting <laughs> each other. So yes. we can't, we cannot be what we aren't. So at a certain level, I think it's okay. And people that want that are drawn to that. I'm glad we live in a free country where people can mm -hmm. make their own choices. But they're going to have to find that elsewhere. We, we want to say the coolest thing mm. is integrity. The coolest thing is treating one another with respect. Those, those things are cool. And that's why this Valentine's Day weekend, taking a stand for love matters. Yes. Because that is, that's cool. Guys, thank you so much. That it was perfect. I, I really appreciate the message that you're putting out there, especially in contrast to everything else that's coming out. So you guys out there, make sure Valentine's Day weekend, you guys are going to get tickets, watch Old Fashioned, support. Chivalry is not dead, and you'll see it in this amazing film. Thank you, Rick. Thank, thank you, you, Elizabeth. So it was definitely a privilege having thank you, you so here. Much. Thank you so much. Right, take care.